What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a new style of video that I wanna do. Uh, this weekend was the XFL's debut weekend, and I don't know why, but I was super impressed with it. Like, super impressed with all aspects of the game. I mean, from the athleticism, to the coaching, to the officiating. The officiating, the way that the XFL went about it is revolutionary. Uh, and the production quality. Like, the production quality, on the whole felt it felt it felt like nfl it felt like an like a like a professional sp sports league like it didn't feel like like i remember 20 years ago when the xfl first came around and it was the anti-nfl it was such a parody of what the nfl was and what the nfl inevitably became that it just couldn't there was yeah it was fun it was it was like it was it was like going and seeing a decent movie once and you're like yeah I'm, i don't ever need to see that movie again i seen it it's it's great um this is not that this isn't this isn't this is not that xfl this is this is something totally new something it's not entirely suit and tie buttoned up but it's not completely mullet, just like party either. It is somewhere in between. I think it's somewhere, I think it lands. I, I really think that it hits that sweet spot where NFL fans have become mildly disgruntled with the pacing of the game, the ridiculous penalties of the game, the just, the, re, just, just, just the, the the mockery, the joke that is NFL officiating, and it it kind of deals with all of that and just really caters to. I think I really think that the XFL's catchphrase for the love of football. I think they're really sticking to that. I think they're really trying to just hey. We know there's a market. The AFL kind of proved that. The AFL, for all it was, did show that there's a market for off-season NFL. Well, off-season football. For, you know, the off-season of the NFL. And I think Vince McMahon learned enough his last go-around. Because if you look at it, that's like really Vince McMahon's only like blemish as a businessman, I guess you could say, would be the failure of the XFL in, 20, in, in 2001. Um, I think that this is like, I th it just feels way more serious, man. I know that like I'm not really following a lot of thought process here. This is, I'm just winging it because I didn't, I didn't anticipate, I didn't anticipate liking the XFL as much as I did. I really did. I thought it was just going to be high flying points and look at me. I'm look at me. I'm a superstar, you know, and it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's something different, man. It's, it's very impressive. It's very impressive what they've been able to do in a relatively short amount of time. If you think about it, the players have been together, the teams have only been together for like five weeks. And yes, what's his name? Aaron Murray didn't, <laughs> mm, mm, I would not want to be, well, I wouldn't want to be a Tampa Bay fan right now. The Tampa Bay Vipers put up a lot of yardage. They just failed to execute in time. But that look, that all that's coming. Look, all that's coming. All this really is, this whole video is, is me trying to just let YouTube <laughs> let y'all out there know I'm going to start doing content about the XFL. I think I think what we're going to do is we're going to do like three videos a week where it's like maybe on like Monday we just do a recap of the weekend. You know, Wednesday maybe we kind of talk about 
individual performances from the past weekend, projections moving forward, kind of where the league is sitting at. Because I'm gonna be, I, I'd love to see this 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 thing expand to uh, doubling the league size right away would be ridiculous, but expand it to, you know, there's eight teams, go to 12 teams, build it out more. A 10 week season is great, but I'd like to see a little bit more because I was so impressed with the talent level, with the product on the field, with the execution, with the the professionalism, man. It was just so good. It was just so impressive to see all of this. The unprecedented act, like the, the unprecedented access to the players on the field was pretty cool, man. I thought that was a pretty unique thing. Getting to see the refs, the transparency, uh, you know, the the communication between the refs and the replay officials. Man, I thought that transparency needs to be adopted immediately. It's two things I'd like to see the NFL, that just off this one weekend alone, just off the opening weekend, the two things that I could take away from the XFL that the NFL direly needs to look into doing is they definitely need to have the transparency with the replay official between, you know, so that, so that it's televised broadcast because that... I, I don't like Alberto Riveron, but if it, that would take some of the flame off of Alberto Riveron's ass. Like he's he's a clown, he's he's a clown, man. He's a clown. But if they were to do that, I feel like it would maybe maybe cool the cool the fire around him a little bit. Um, and the other thing, I did not think I was gonna like. I adamantly thought that I was gonna hate it. I thought I was going to hate the kickoff rules. I really thought I was going to hate it. I could not have been more wrong. I think that is the most unique, safe, and just perfect way to maintain that aspect of the game whilst protecting the players. I just, I, I thought it was super unique and, and a, a, an excellent way because I hate seeing touchbacks in the NFL. I hate seeing, we love, dude, Devin Hester was sweet. I'm a Lions fan. I hate the Bears. I loved watching Devin Hester get the ball. Dude, anytime Devin Hester had his hands on the ball, you were like, here it comes. Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Here comes, here comes fucking Devin Hester, man. That dude was just like something else. And we've seen the NFL kind of phase out special teams in a sense. You know, moving away from the kick returns and the kickoffs. And I thought, and justifiably so, look, justifiably so. To an extent, yes, we do need to protect these players, even though they're gazillionaires. The XFL not so much, so it makes even more sense from a liability standpoint to protect the players. I just think that, like, this is how football should move forward with kickoffs across all, you know, I'm talking like, Pee Wee, if they even do that. I don't even know if they do kickoffs in Pee Wee, but like high school, college, professional. I think this is, I th I truly think that the kickoff solution that the XFL is utilizing and implemented in their league is the answer to the kickoff injury problem. The, the sustain, you know, I mean, you know, dude, think about it. You have like world-class athletes running a 4-4-40 for 50 yards at 250 pounds, just a guided missile right into the next dude. Like, like that's just, that's just, obviously it's asking for trouble. I just think it's super unique. And anyway, I realize that I've been like ramble stilt skin over here, y'all. But I, this is what I think. I, I think I, I want to start doing content about the XFL. Um, we're going to dive more into it. Obviously my production quality isn't where I want it to be. Please bear with me. I think I think that I you know what? I'm going to I'm going to mirror my YouTube channel like the XFL in this is what I can do for now, but help me grow. I will I will grow with with this um drop a like, you know, if if you're interested in the XFL, um if this is something that you'd like to see, you know. Oh, that's what I was saying is my 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 uh god Damn, I ramble. Um, my, my upload schedule, I was thinking, is like Monday's recap, 
Wednesday's a breakdown, and since I am a degenerate daily sports gambler, Fridays will probably do lineup building construction because Hat and Beard loves Daily Fantasy. He loves him some Daily Fantasy, y'all. Oh my God, do I love Daily Fantasy. Um, so that's what we're thinking. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you'd like to, uh, you know, if there's anything you'd like to see me cover, go over any, any, any things you'd like me to talk about as far as the XFL. Um, keep an eye out for streams. If you want to come hang out in a stream, we can talk about XFL. We can talk about whatever. Uh, but uh, I think moving forward, we're going to be more of an XFL content channel. I. Dude, I really liked it. I, I really liked it, man. I really liked it. And I I didn't want to like the XFL. I really didn't want to like the XFL at all. Um, at all. I, I, and, I, and I'm just like super impressed. I'm just super impressed, man. Super impressed with what I've seen. I, I think that this league's got legs. So, uh, yeah, that that's probably going to do it for me for now. Um, please stick around, you know, subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for future content. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. All right. See you later guys.